test. So roll it around on my GY6. I put it in ATV motor with a transmission on it, and it does kick start too. So I built this a while back. It was in 2020, uh, just before the pandemic. I bought, I bought it for 200 bucks. It needed an engine, and uh, I got most of the welding done to it to modify it to this uh, Taiwan motor. I just changed the CVT, and the transmission has been high performance package now, so it's running a lot better than what it wasn't um, with the original package CVT. Brakes are good now, acceleration better. Changed the carburetor out. We had an issue with the carburetor. It's not fuel injected, so got a little bluish, blue tinting going on. That's pretty much it there. But I put in a battery box on the top next to the fuel can and a fire extinguisher and a rack so I can carry my camera gear when I go out airsofting. Um, take photography of the airsoft players and stuff like that. So it's riding pretty good. I uh, changed the, the front boot on the steering and the, uh, the CVT steering. This is the original steering that was rusted out. It's smooth now. I did the wheel alignment on it and uh, put a new boot on there because it just recently cracked on me and uh, I'll probably have to replace the other one too as well. Got a little bit of a crack in there and it's got grease coming out. Yeah, everything else is working out good. I put a center console with the uh, lights and power. It's a power center with a power start. All right. I will drive it a little bit more and uh, show you how fast it goes. And hopefully, uh, I don't want to go too fast on this. This is a light chassis, so it'll twist if it hits something. I just want to go fast enough to to move around if I need to move around really quickly. All right, I'll be right back. There goes my camera gear. If I need to take it out there to the field, I'll be able to test this out now. I got a rack on the Griff Dog. And that's my whole rig. My 2014 Dodge Ram 1500. I got my trailer, my ice box. It's a tall old ice box. And then the flatbed. Where I load up the go-kart too, or the buggy. So it's capable of handling something. I need to replace the front tires on this. It's skidding to the left and right when I hit the idle on it. And I just gotta change it, change it into spindles with lock nuts on it. Lowered lugs, I should do it. I think that's my next plan. Here we have a boat trailer that I actually bartered for and the $200 go-kart that was in pieces that was found in the mud. It was all rusted out, all the parts that had to be ordered through BMI and some through some other eBay and other online stores. It was 2019 so it was difficult to get these parts. And most of the steering was frozen, seized up, had to heat it. Ball joints showed up. Those are the tie rod end bolts. That was the vehicle's chassis there with the new tires. Front end, new front end came in, new front plate. The rear tires were tore up really bad. These are the new hubs in the axle. I used the reused the bearings. These are Sun F tires that I purchased and now remounted on the old rims. This is a motor that I bought from Amazon. It was an ATV motor. Most of the uh, motors that they had online were 
four wheel drive, this one has reverse, and kickstart. I was thinking that it would fit, the kickstart would fit in place in there. The, in the engine hangers on the spider box had to be moved around. The engine had to be realigned, had to be measured. The rear spindle had to match up with the with the sprocket on the axle. I had to put a spacer in between. I had the hardware nut that I found. Didn't come with one. This new chain, the 429 chain. I cat anxiously watching as I assembled this motor. I put a rear hanger adjusted. Had to re reset and replace somewhere else, uh, relocated so I can pull the motor, the chain to the sprocket. I had to recut, redesign the sprocket, give it some spacing for accommodation for the CBT. Here the motor is running for the first time on its new hangers. And it's been running pretty really well ever since I've gotten the carburetor and had to play around with it. It will foul up my spark plugs. And it was all about air mixture on the carburetor and something I had to figure out. Now there was no official switch or wiring harness on this engine, so I tried to keep the wiring harness at the engine. This was the first shifter. Uh, that was the paint that I used. The paint. I had to put a center console, so I built the center console. And then the uh, fog lamps, the driving lamps came in, and I added that in. Center console with diamond plate. The trailer had to be rebuilt too. So I had to start with angle irons, nearly $200 worth of metal, another $100 in deck material. Bearings had to be replaced. Repaint everything. $200 box. Then it was ready to go. This is all in 2020. I uh, hope folks, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you got any questions, just leave me something in the comments. Uh, I will answer your comments. Uh, any questions you may have on this how I came about in putting this engine together and how I, just, I actually re-engineered everything I can tell you it's not easy it took me almost a year to get everything and uh, but I just want you to enjoy what I enjoy alright peace out take care take care of one of each other and uh, work together please this makes a better world when we all work together <laughs>